Hey everybody, Cody Caro here uh, from Lazy Goblins, and um, I re I did a video about a month ago about how to uh, gain experience. Um, it how to get experience, you know, without experience in the game industry. And I asked later on if you guys wanted a video about um, kind of how to make a portfolio. And a couple people commented and wanted it, so I figured I'll give it to you guys now. Um, so with me, I'm a, I am brand myself. You need to find a brand, like your brand. I brand myself as a game developer because I can do pretty much a lot of aspects of game development. I, can do, I mainly do game programming, but I can also do game design, level design, um, some 2D art, pixel art, some 3D art. Um, I can do pretty much a lot of things so I just decided to brand myself as a game developer and um, where I hold my portfolio is on ArtStation um, so over here we'll go to my actual portfolio site and you know it has a resume like an about me the skills that I have if you upgrade it you can get uh, put a PDF um, of your resume on here, a link to it, and it shows the games that I've released, um, and then my current jobs, and then over here you could do your own categories, but I have like recently published games, I have game jams, and then work in progress stuff that I've worked on. But so you just go on here, you uh, create a site, uh, create a profile, and, and an account, um, and then you go over to edit profile. And here you just fill out, you know, first name, last name, uh, your professional headline. So one line about you, I put game developer. If you're a 3D artist, put 3D artist, 3D character artist, you know, level designer, whatever you want. And then um, over here on hiring, just check them all. I recommend that. Uh, but if it's just up to you. If you want full-time or just contract, check whichever applies to you, you know. And then for resume, uh, this is where you're going to put your, like, kind of like about me. So for me, I just put, like, a one-liner thing that sums up everything about me and what I can do and my experience. So I said, I am a skilled game developer that focuses on creating incredible gameplay experiences with over three years of experience working with C Sharp inside of Unity Engine. Uh, if you're, you know... Uh, 3D artist, you could say I'm a skilled 3D artist that focuses on creating amazing assets or props or, you know, whatever. Just kind of cater it towards what you know, what you've learned, um, what you do, you know. And then down here I did bullet points of kind of like showcasing my skills. So I put knows how to create a great virtual sensation for the player, highly skilled using Unity, C Sharp, and Visual Studio. I've released three mobile games, definitely put kind of like any projects or say I've participated in so many game jams or something like that. I put, you know, publishing a YouTube tutorial series can be found here. I put a link to it. Um, put basic Python Lua and in the process of studying C++. And then here, you know, if you upgrade to the uh, to the uh, upgrade your art station, you know, pay for it. You can get uh, some extra stuff, extra layouts I'll show you here soon. And then put your uh, resume as a PDF. And then here you could put a demo reel, um, but I'll show you later where you can do, like, put more stuff, kind of what I did. Uh, and then here you put uh, your areas of expertise, so I put game design, game development, level design, uh, Unity, all that stuff. I need to add some more to it, but yeah. Uh, here's software experience. Just put all the software you know. Just put it right here. And then your production experience. This can be anything you have worked on. If it's a game that you did yourself, like right here I did a Game Jam game. Uh, I put a group of four people for Ludum Dare 37. It's It could literally be anything that you've worked on. Um, that you've at least, you know, finished from A to Z, you know, from start to finish and published on like itch, itch.io or whatever, you know. So anything that you've worked on that you've published on Itch.io or Google Play Store or anywhere, put that here. It just looks really professional. And then down here, your professional experience, you could do the same thing. You know, you could put like, if you did this, you know, a Ludum Dare or any game jam, you could put that down here too. 
and kind of bullet point what you did for that project. So right now I have Lazy Goblins, that's um, the company that I'm working with. Uh, a couple of friends, we're just making our own games, you know. Um, another indie company that I co-founded down here. And then um, my contract positions. And then you can just add position and do some stuff. But yeah, that's the resume section. Um, up here, you could do social. I definitely recommend having a LinkedIn. Um, that's a whole different video, though. <coughs> but I definitely have a recommend having a LinkedIn. If you have a YouTube channel that you're doing, you know, showcasing your work, definitely put that here. And it, make sure it's related to, um, like, 3D art. If you have, like, Let's Plays on there, try to separate that, maybe. So make a separate channel for your uh, game dev stuff. And then your email. And then up here, if you go to um, Manage Portfolio, this is where you're going to put everything at. So you create a new album. These right here are albums. So I've separated mine into um, published games, game jams, and work in project. Progress jobs. Um, I'm going to add another one about just work in progress games, possibly. But um, So you go in here. You hit, so in my published games, let's just edit one. But you'll hit create new project. So I'll hit edit just to show you guys. And then right here, you're going to hit add video. And I definitely recommend you create a video kind of showcasing what you did. Um, you can see an example of that in my uh, portfolio. Uh, I have a bunch of videos in there. Uh, the Wacky Duels portfolio video one definitely is kind of more so the route you want to go it you basically like you know freeze frame it put what you did at that point and kind of just showcase off individual stuff for, that you did for the game but you know that's for me as a programmer for an artist you might want to do like turnarounds of like wireframes going up to just meshes ambient occlusions you know whatever but yeah just kind of make video make a video put it on YouTube that showcases the work that you did and then here I put you put the title of the project so the title of mine was wacky duels but basically whatever you worked on for the uh, description I just did a basic description of it and then I put a link to the game uh, I wrote a postmortem on it um, that really kind of helps you stand out as writing a postmortem kind of shows people that you actually learned from your mistakes you know and you're going to apply them to the future and then I just put the tools I used and then down here you could put the subject matter so characters if you're a character artist environments so on and so forth and then you can tag it down here and then you just go up here and you hit save but then you come to after you did this you come to the website builder and you come here. Uh, see, there's a bunch of themes. Uh, if you don't sign up for the Pro, you just get the ArtStation Basic. But the ArtStation Basic is good enough. You know, you don't really need to sign up for the Pro. They just give you some more uh, theme options for you. But you come to Pages, and this is where you hook everything up to the previous to your uh, portfolio folders that you set up. You'll come to a new page. You can title it whatever you want, like, oh, um, level designs. And then you can even edit the URL. And then you come down here and you hit add gallery. And right here, you see these are the uh, folders that I had in my, uh, in my uh, portfolio, the manage portfolio section. So you just hit whatever, so you'll pick your level design folder if you're a level designer or whatever, you know. But that's pretty much what you do, then you save and publish it, and then you can even go to uh, view website, and then it will show up here. Okay, so I just hit uh, save and published, and I published the one that I just did, the uh, level designs, you know, come down here, you can hit game jams, save, save, and then if you come over to view website, Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I skipped a step. Um, you have to go to 
customize theme. Yeah, customize theme. And then you come to here, hit the plus, add menu item, level designs, link to a page, and you select the page, level designs, save, and it's right over there. Woo! See, it has the same stuff as my game jams. But that's pretty much how you do it. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you do it, how you set up an art station. There's a lot of other customizable stuff you can mess around with. You can even put a website logo if you want. Um, but that's basically it. That's the gist of it. That's how I set up my, uh, my portfolio. And, I mean, even though I'm not technically you know an artist it still works as a good you know section to hold all your projects in but yeah that's pretty much it uh let me know if this helped you guys out let me know if you guys have any questions too and i'll help you out in the comments um also let me know what other tutorials you guys want um if you want me to continue my space shooter tutorial uh i'll continue that if you haven't checked it out go ahead and check it out but let me know what you guys want to want to see on this channel. I'll help you guys out to the best of my ability. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everybody for uh watching this video. Hope you guys hope it helped you guys create, you know, create a portfolio site. Uh, also link your portfolio sites down below and I'll check them out, give you a little critique on them and we'll help each other, you know, get better, get in the industry. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day. Keep on creating, keep on following your dreams. Have a good one, you guys.